Hello students, let's do integers. Exercise 1, page number 16. Question 8. Find the result of subtracting the sum of all integers between 20 and 30 from the sum of all integers from 20 to 30. So, sum of all integers from 20 to 30 should be written first. And then we subtract sum of all integers between 20 and 30. So, first let's write down all integers from 20 to 30. All integers from 20 to 30. So, from means starting with 20 itself. Plus 21, since we are doing the sum, it's all addition. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30 because it says 2. 30. Now we are going to minus the sum of all integers between 20 and 30. When we use the word between, we will not include these two numbers, 20 and 30. So let's write down all the other numbers. And because it's subtraction and there are many numbers, we're going to put it in brackets. So the number after 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 and 29. We are not going to write 30. Okay. Now, instead of adding up all these numbers and then subtracting again after adding all these numbers, there is a shorter way of doing it. So, what we are going to do is the first set of numbers, we are going to write it as it is. 20 plus 21 up to 30. The first set, sum of all integers from 20 to 30. We are writing that again. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. Now we are going to open the brackets. Can you see brackets here? Brackets here. This set of numbers are written within the brackets. And we are going to open the brackets. Before you open the bracket, See what sign is there before the bracket. The sign before the bracket is minus. If minus is a sign, then I have to change the sign of all these numbers inside the bracket. Okay, so I'm going to change all the signs. So, now this is plus. It's understood it's plus, isn't it? Now, plus 21 is going to become minus 21, minus 22, minus 23. All signs will change. Minus 24, minus 25 minus 26, minus 27, minus 28 and minus 29. Okay, so now we are going to simplify this further. Now, plus 21, look at plus 21, plus 21 and minus 21 will get cancelled because plus 21 minus 21 is 0. So, we will cancel it. So, 21, so this minus sign is also getting cancelled. Then plus 22 minus 22, plus 23 minus 23, plus 24 minus 24, plus 25 minus 25, plus 26 minus 26. When signs are the opposite, become 0. Okay, so plus 27 minus 27, plus 28 minus 28, plus 29 minus 29. That's it. We've cancelled whatever we can. Now, what is left? We have 20 plus 30. So, we have 20 plus 30. So, let's write that down. Whatever is left is that 20 plus 30, which is equal to 20 plus 30 is 50. Okay. So, when you subtract the sum of all integers from 20 to 30 and sum of all integers between 20 and 30, your answer is 50. This is much easier than adding up all these numbers and then adding up all these numbers and subtracting that. Okay, so this is how you find the result by cancelling and then adding whatever is left. So this is our final answer which is 50. Question 9. Add the product of minus 13 and minus 17. 
to the quotient of minus 187 and 11. Product means multiplication. So we multiply these two. Quotient means division. We divide these two and we add the two answers. So let's begin. So minus 13 into minus 17 plus minus 187 divided by 11. So let's work out the division part first. So let's do that. 187 that has a minus sign and divided by 11 which has a plus sign. So in division when signs are different your answer is negative. So your answer is going to be going to have a negative sign. Let's divide 187 by 11 now. 11 ones are 11 minus 8 minus 1 is 7. You bring down 7. 11 sevens are 77. So we have a remainder 0 and our quotient is 17. So let's write it here minus 17. So when you divide 187 by 11, you get minus 17. Now let's write the rest of it as it is. We have minus 13 into minus 17 plus minus 17. So now we have to work out the multiplication minus 13 into minus 17. So let's do that minus 13 into minus 17. So this is multiplication. So minus into minus is plus. The sign is plus. Now let's multiply 13 into 17. 7 threes are 21 carry 2. 7 ones are 7, 8, 9, 0. 1 threes are 3, 1 ones are 1. So here what do we have? 1, we are adding it up. 9 plus 3 is 12, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 221. So after multiplying, we've got 221 plus minus 17. Now let's open the brackets. So 221 is as it is. Before you open the bracket, look at the sign, it's plus. That means the sign will not change. So I can write minus 17 as it is. Now I need to subtract 221 and 17. So let's do that. 221 minus 17. So here we need to borrow. So this is 1 and 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. 1 minus 1 is 0. And this is 2. So what do we have here? Here we have 204. So this is our final answer, 204. Question 10. The product of two integers is minus 180. If one of them is 12, find the other. So let's start. The product of two integers is given to us. It is minus 180. What else is given to us? One integer is given to us. It says one of them is 12. We have to find the other integer. So let the other integer be x. That means the product of two integers. So one integer is x. The other integer is 12. When we multiply these two, the product is minus 180. So again, this is in the form of an equation. We have a left hand side here. This is the left hand side and we have the right hand side and we have the equal to sign. So this is an equation. We are going to solve for x in this equation. So let's begin. Now to find the value of x, we need only x here on the left hand side. On the right hand side, 180 will remain as it is. Now, now we are going to transpose 12, which is multiplication. This is on the right, left hand side. We don't want it there. So we're moving it to the right hand side. So because it is multiplication by 12, it will now become division. So when I divide, I'm going to put it down here. This is 12. Now 12 doesn't have a sign. It's understood it is plus. Now we can solve for x. We can find the value of x by dividing minus 180 by 12. First, let's work on the signs. So we have one negative sign and one positive sign. In division, when signs are different, the answer is always negative. So we have a minus sign. Now we have to divide the two numbers, 180 divided by 12. 
So let's take 18. 12 ones are 12 minus 8 minus 2 is 6 and then we bring down 0. We have 60. 12 fives are 60 minus 0. 15. So now we have found the value of x. x is equal to minus 15. x is equal to minus 15. Question 11. A number changes from minus 20 to 30. What is the increase or decrease in the number? So first thing we need to know is, has there been an increase or has there been a decrease? Now, this is minus 20, which is a negative number and this is 30. So let's think of a number line. So here we have a number line. Now let's put a few numbers for us to know. So let's make this 0 is an integers number line. So on the right side, we have positive numbers 1, 2 and 3. On the left side, we have negative numbers minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. Now, the basic rule here in integers is as you move to the right, it keeps increasing. The numbers keep increasing. So from minus 3, if I move to minus 2, it has increased by 1. If I move from here to minus 1, it has increased by 2. So as you move to the right, it keeps increasing. And as you can see on the right side, we have a lot of positive numbers. Now, if it moves to the left, it's decreasing. And to the left of zero, we have negative numbers. So if the first question is, we are moving from minus 20, that means it must be on the left hand side, to 30, which is on the right hand side, we are moving to the right, isn't it? So. A number, the first question is number changes from minus 20 to 30. That means there has been an increase. There has been an increase. The number has increased because minus 20 is a negative number and 30 is a positive. So when it moves from a negative to positive, there has been an increase. Now the question is what is the increase? To find the increase, we have to subtract these two numbers. So taking the greater number first. So in these two, which is the greater number? 30. So we're going to take 30 and minus, minus 20 from it. So we're going to subtract the two numbers. So the first number is 30, the other number is minus 20. So this will be 30. Now I have a minus sign before the bracket. So this sign will change. Minus 20 will now become plus 20. Plus 20. So 30 plus 20. 20 is 50. So what is the answer to this question? What is the increase or decrease in the number? The increase in the number is 50. The number has increased and it is by 50 it has increased. So the increase in the number is 50. So we've answered two parts to this. One is we have said that there is an increase and how much is the increase? 50. So if you take minus 20 and if you move on your number line 50 places to the right, you will reach 30. Now let's answer the second part of the question. So the second question here is again from a change from one number to another. So let's again use a number line to understand this better. So I'll have all the positive numbers on the right side, all the negative numbers to the left of 0. And let's remember as we move from negative to positive, we are increasing. If we move from positive to negative, that means we are decreasing. So the second question is the number changes from 40 to minus 30 from a positive number to a negative number. That means there has been a decrease. Positive numbers are all here and it has come to minus 30 means it has moved like this. That means there has been a decrease. Now, what is the decrease by how much? So again, we have to subtract. So when we subtract, we have to take the bigger number first, which is 40, and subtract minus 30 from it, minus 30. So this is 40, and before we remove the bracket, the sign before the bracket, we need to see it's minus. So minus 30 will now change to plus 30. So 40 plus 30 is 70. That means the decrease in the number is 70. That is, when you move 70 places to the left of 40, 
you will reach minus 30. So the number when it changed from 40 to 30, it decreased by 70. So with this children, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you children.